you guys, Joe Fi here at Advanced Innovations. Welcome back to the shop. You know, over the years, you are going to accumulate a bunch of homemade tools, and one of the tools that has served me well, and if you're following this channel and watch some of those little model builds, well, you've probably seen me use the small uh, accessory palette that I put in my six inch current vise. Well, I'm going to show you the one that I've used over the years, to throw you some thoughts for setting it up, and then I'm going to show you the two new products that I've added to the, to the shop website. And if you're so inclined to get one of these and make your life a little easier, so be it. Let's take a look. All right, fixture number one, a very simple piece of aluminum. As a matter of fact, this piece of aluminum used to be a vice jaw. And in a pinch, I said, nope, I need some material. So I grabbed one of my soft jaws. And I got to say, this has been one of the most universally abused and used and applicable fixtures I think I've ever done. Simple. V-notch down the end, bunch of 1032 holes, and I'm using the famous toe clamps to hold down rods for butt welding. <laughs> all right, no comments on the butt welding comment, all right? Quite often here in the shop, I need to splice the tip of one instrument onto the handle and shaft of another instrument, and this is 90% of the time, this is the fixture that I will use to do that. Keeps it nice and tight, gives me a lot of access for my torch, and I can just rotate the part, lock it down again, and keep the warp out of it and build the weld up. And when it's done, you never even know that it was spliced. Anyway, great little fixture, great use for the toe clamps. And i got to say, if I lost this, I would make a new one as soon as I found out that I had misplaced it. This is a very valuable little tool here. Next one that you've seen me use, if you're watching all the parts that I'm building for all these miniature models, is this pallet. This is a 1032 Imperial six inch long, two inch wide, bunch of holes in it. And I have used this for gotta be going on 30 years or more. This is a great little piece. Now, in keeping with the times, I had to upgrade this. And this is the upgrade, ba -ba, right there. Let's look at the whole pattern from the bottom. There's considerably more holes in this. And those are the clamps. The clamps are A2 tool steel and the plate itself is precision ground, low carbon material. Six inches long, if you have a six inch vise, great, it fits perfectly. If you're wondering, well, okay, well, how do I put my piece on there at an angle? There's no pinholes. Well, sit it down inside the vise jaw and clamp it closed. You can put your angle block or your parallel back here in the vise jaw, clamp your part, and then move the piece up. Boom, there you go, done. If you have a four inch vise, a mini vise on your machine, the six inch vise or six inch plate is going to allow you some room on the overhang of the four inch uh, machine vise for clamps and such. And what I mean and such, this is the eight inch version. And you can see you can have, if you have a six inch vise, you have room for camp twists or C clamps or any other device on the end when it's stuck in the vise and the vise is gripping it in the middle. Size comparison between the six and the eight. Use the exact same clamps, exact same screws. And I'm going to put a pair of these in my box and I am going to wear them out, I promise you. If you don't have one, think about getting one. Uh, make one yourself or you can go to the website. And both of these kits are for sale on the website with the clamps, with the screws. And I'm telling you, you're going to make your life a whole lot easier if you have one. First generation, the guy that started it all. And the family's growing. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Sorry I've been off the grid here for a while. It's been like 111 degrees in my shop, and it is tough to shoot videos, but I thought this was worthwhile. There you go. Stay well wherever you are in the world. I hope you are well and happy and safe and a little cooler than I am. Still Pie Advanced Innovations in Austin, Texas. Uh, I'm out.